Happy Villa door station by Tower. So the kit includes a 2 megapixel CMOS camera. We have a 4 port switch to power up the door station and the screen. And we have a 7 inch screen. It comes in two colors, white and black. So without wasting any time, let's begin. So the configuration part is divided into two halves. The first one is physical, the second one is software. So the physical part consists of the right selection of the cables. We have used CAT 6E. So this one is connected at the back of the door station. The other one is into the screen. We have connected a data cable that goes into the uplink port of the POE switch. The second part is knowing the free IP. We need a static free IP so that we can get a remote access for the in the DMSS app for the push notifications. I've, I'm using, uh, you can use any IP scanner. I'm using advanced IP scanner to locate a free IP. This will give, also give us a IP range uh, from here. Now we go back to the screen and start the step-by-step -step procedures. The language I've selected is English. Quick configuration villa. Password by default is six times eight. We do need a email address for password reset. This is crucial. Press OK. And then it will show us the connected devices to the switch. Uh, one is local, one is video. Video is the outdoor station. One is initialized. We need to initialize the door station. The password is alphanumeric, admin one, two, three. Confirming the same. Checking the email, press OK. Yeah, so the next step is press OK. And before one key config, we need to make sure our IPs are correct. So in this case, the local IP that was automatically assigned is in the wrong segment. We just need to add it and make sure we are in the correct segment of our default gateway. And I can see from the scanner, this is a free IP. So I have assigned it. The same thing I'm going to do for the VTO. We just need to pick up the date and time format. Once it is selected, the video standard in Australia is PAL. Press OK. Press one key config. It may take 15 to 20 seconds to reboot and assign all the IPs to, from the screen to the door station. The next part will be uh, is a very crucial part that is SIP server configuration. SIP is a session initiation protocol that is used for establishing and terminating video calls. Once everything is set up, we will proceed to the other app. See you soon.